Hi, in this video I'd like to talk about diabetes type 1 and type 2 will be in another video. Diabetes type 1, uh, I'd like you to just think about it as not a disease, more of a, a reaction to uh, some of the environmental factors, mainly diet seems to be the biggest one, there are some genetic factors as well we could look at. Anyway, diabetes type 1 has been uh, on the rise for the last 50 years. Uh, in fact, about 50 years ago, there wasn't an epidemic of diabetes or obesity, but um, there has been uh, an increase in nutritional carbohydrates and sugars, and that seems to have coincided with the rise in diabetes. So let's have a look at uh, what happens inside the body. The pancreas is situated here. When you eat any food, protein, fat, or carbohydrates, or have a drink, there is a certain amount of sugar in those um, foodstuffs. Depending on how much sugar, depends on how much insulin is secreted from your pancreas. Blood sugar needs to be at a certain level. Going too high can make you hyperglycemic. That basically means there's just too much sugar in your bloodstream and that's not a good situation. Insulin's job is to bring that down. Having too little sugar in your blood can also be a problem and that's called a hypoglycemic event and that is also dangerous. So uh, we'll talk about the liver's function in a different video because the liver is the one that really brings the blood sugars back up. Anyway, so we, we consume some food and there is a certain amount of glucose goes into the bloodstream and the pancreas wakes up and starts to secrete insulin. Now in type 1 diabetes, the problem here is that the person doesn't have enough insulin. So that's why they need to inject. Digestive juices destroy insulin, which is why they have to inject on a regular basis. We can't store insulin. But basically type 1 diabetes is a lack of insulin coming from the pancreas. You may also wonder why you've put some weight on. If you have a very high uh, carbohydrate and sugar diet, what will happen is the insulin basically will take the glucose out of the blood, put some in your muscle, which is used for almost instant energy, some excess energy will be stored in your liver, and then any further excess is stored in your fat cells as fat. And that's the process that you would like to reverse if you're trying to lose weight while you're also trying to manage your diabetes. I do have another video about that, so please click the subscribe button and then we can hopefully help you with managing your diabetes type 1.